Today I am here and proud to talk about the one topic that I've been wanting to for so long now, for a couple weeks, which is the one and only Sandland. Yes, I can't believe I got my hands on this thing. I'm actually really proud I finally was able to get this. I've been waiting a few weeks, so when I finally got it, you have no idea how much time I put into this book. <laughs> And I'm not kidding, I was reading this every night. Anyways, besides all that, we are going to get into the review of what this book is all about, and let me tell you, it's pretty dang good. Now, I will make it spoiler free for everybody, just in case, I know the book's been out for a while, since 2000 actually, but because the game is coming out, and also we technically did get an announcement for a movie, but I haven't heard anything about it after that. But for the time being, we will make it just spoiler free. If people want me to do a spoiler reaction to it, trust me, I would love to. Because there's so much to this book, I really want to say. But for the time being, we'll stick to the spoiler free, which will start at the beginning. But speaking of that, starting at the beginning, I do want to clarify this one first page that shows about what Curatorium said which states, this was supposed to be a short, simple manga about an old man and a tank, which I made for my own personal enjoyment. But the tank was harder to draw than I expected, and stubbornly insisted on drawing it all myself. So I came to regret ever getting involved with it, but the story was already plotted out to the end. So I couldn't change anything, and I went through hell drawing the whole thing. So it seems like he, I don't know if it was just design-wise, of the tank or just the tank in general but we do know that in dragon ball technically there were tanks and stuff like that and even dragon ball z came out even before manga came out so not entirely sure about that maybe he just had a hard time drawing tanks at the time maybe not entirely sure but it was i just want to throw that in because that's something intriguing to hear because he actually had a hard time going through it he loved the story the, like the the project and all but for some reason the tank was the hardest thing for him so i think it was the design element maybe that could have been the case but other than that i i i think he still made a great tank i have to give him props for that so but now that we're done with the curatorium's little statement now we'll actually get to the actual start of the story it pretty much starts with belzebub and his little crew of demons going on a little rampage of course terrorizing the humans and trying to get water because they need water too unfortunately and yeah so they have to just find a way to live and survive but at the same time they really don't like humans they really hated their guts for a long long time because of this war now if people don't really know exactly what happened with this story i'll try to summarize a little bit because i don't want to spoil it because there's a lot to this story that folds in the end of it and i won't give much away but i'd rather just tell you a brief about it there was a war years ago about maybe 30 50 years ago during the time of this story pretty much what happened the big explosion happened and sure enough everybody lost water and they're just trying to survive that way but anyways this sheriff named ro uh which you will not gonna spoil it so anyways the sheriff meets belzebar and his demons saying hey i ha will pay i will give you water i will do whatever it takes you can have that land as well but there is a special land of water over this area and i need to get there because i need to save our area because the king well he's kind of a little dick I guess that's how you could say it he's just not he's a greedy guy he really just doesn't like giving away water for free and also too he just likes money and no offense i don't even know if he's the one that's running the country i'm sorry i think it was the, the sergeant the whole time i think he's just a puppet in this story i think the king's a puppet like he's just there i think he's just there for looks that's pretty much it maybe not great looks you know he's all right but there's nothing wrong with him but uh he's just there for show He's not really, he's really not there for anything else. He's just, he's just there to put a word king on his name. That's it. None special. But anyways, they set off. They go on this adventure, of course. And sure enough, the car gets destroyed. They had to let go because of this creature, which we do see in the gameplay, of course. And after that, then pretty much, then they need a new ride. And they take a tank. Which, because they took the tank, well, I should say, uh, the demon that 
came with them, which is this older demon called Thief. So he could steal anything and be back in like two seconds. He was able to get a tank. He didn't bring it to them, but he, he found a location of a tank and they took it. And then sure enough, because of that, they triggered the army. The army was going after them after that point And like, let me tell you, the story at that point got so epic. Like, I love how they just knew how to tell the story of like, from a military standpoint. And I thought it was so cool the way they're like interacting and like with all the air tanks and like how they can avoid it and how they could take them down and just great. Great combat. Love it. But the one thing I will say after all the fights and everything is once they get to the ending, you really get shocked on who really beats the bad guy. Because personally, I thought Belzebar was going to win because he was saving up his ultimate attack. That he does use in it. But. Unfortunately he's not. Really the one that actually wins. Somebody else does. Not going to tell who. Because that is spoilers. But that's the farce I'm going with that part. But overall the story is great. And I couldn't put this book down. Let me tell you. This book. It's just great. I love the story that Kira Torana came up with this. He knows how to make a good story. And I'm glad that he did this as a personal like enjoyment for this and if he didn't think of something that he really loved and cared for and i know he does for dbz i understand i know he went through a lot with dbz i get that he even was not feeling it sometimes i get that but i can tell he definitely put a lot in this book and i do recommend it to anybody who wants to read the re uh, the book uh, like I said, I will do a spoiler free if anybody would love to see that. Let me know down in the comment section below for that. But overall, great book. Uh, what do I give this book? As I've probably done so far with the mangas uh, for ratings. I I don't have to say it's like a 9. 9 out of 10 out of Kira Toriyama's work. I love this. I don't really know how else to tell you. The story is great. Um, I could never put this book down. I had to actually to like tell myself to stop. So... Yeah, this, this was great. I really enjoyed the book, and I can't wait for the game. I can't wait for the movie to come out. And most of all, I hopefully you guys can wait for it as well. As people who are big fans of DBZ or just a curatorial animus work, I think for a fact you guys would love to read the book and might enjoy the game as well. So, other than that, guys, hope you guys are watching. Hit like for more. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, of course. And I'll see you, of course, in the next videos. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.